Hello guys, welcome to Ashley Lancelot Show. Look, um, we're gonna be talking about probably in the last video I'm gonna make about the Sony uh, censorship and double standard. I have a lot of comments that are good and half good and okay. I'm gonna put my two cents in it, everything else. Uh, we did a podcast on this and we made a whole bunch of more videos about this, reading your comments about it. A lot of them are very good. If you have more comments about it, put it down in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, probably going to be the last one for Sony censorship. It's King Mundane. It's very broad. And, you know, I mean, the, uh, it's broad, but, you know, you also think of the wider picture of it. even the, the Wall Street Journal uh, posted it for Japanese death. It's not only for Japanese death. Sony's doing this all across the board for loot type of gaming or highly sexualized gaming um but i will be reading it and i will tell you what my two cents and let me know what you guys think and uh put down in the comments i'm just gonna uh, just kind of back to you instead it now be a lot better in the long run for it um let's see here we got down phoenix he's a, actually a, a youtuber um i'm good friends with him go to, uh, and subscribe to him if you like um, it's it is funny how Sony wants to censor other companies game but yet to see how days gone and last of us to look pretty uncensored maybe the devs are more upset about their double standard that about censorship in the first place well the censorship is for lewd type or highly sexualized type content a uh, days gone and last of us um, part two is a horror type genre game horror survival type genre game there's not really actually lewd or highly sexualized content on it so that will not be censored because it doesn't fit in that category uh down phoenix uh but the double standard if there was a double standard for japan there probably will be a double standard japan probably american companies uh will not get censored i know that they try to censor capcom and capcom literally just obliterated them because they went through everything all that stuff and solely basically censored without their consent uh, so basically is uh, for Devil May Cry 5, you know, which game uh, that they had a huge, uh, huge problem when it first came out. Uh, so basically, uh, there's a double standard. There will be a lawsuit, uh, especially for Japan, Japanese um, companies, even though Java is, uh, is correlating to Japanese games. A lot of them are anime type, dating sims, or, you know, other fighting genre games you know Del uh, dead or alive six they change whole bunch they're not selling as well as they want to they did the, the dead or alive 3 scarlet and the places you for censor the shit out of it so people bought everything on the Nintendo switch version of it i don't blame them um that's the those type of game dead or alive six dead or alive is probably going to die or they move to a different uh platform or basically on the steam they made a lot of money on the switch because of loot type uh, style of fighting games it is uh for it and then there's some other rpg style games that you actually change your characters to bikinis and stuff like that they may have to set they probably going to end up going to the xbox nintendo switch or on steam because we know that Sony like will like likes to censor butts for some reason, and that's what it did with uh, Lady and Don't Make Cry Five. <clears throat> but now, now it's not censored anymore in Don't Make Cry Five on Sony. Um, but yeah, if there is a case for that, it's probably gonna be a lawsuit, or they're just gonna move to a different um, lawsuit for discrimination. They had they for a company, they had to do it all across the board. They just cannot nitpick one country at a time. Um, Sony is a Japanese company, uh, even though the the headquarters for Sony Entertainment has moved to California. It all depends on the sell and investments for it. If the sell and investments, the profit goes not as what they want it or down. Um, they have a huge repercussion of it. CEO is going to be moved and replaced, and so on, and remove that censorship. That's probably going to happen. Um, it's just that in two years, when PS5 comes in, when the sales goes down, um, not a lot of people buying the consoles or the games for it, or a lot of, of third-party games or the first-party games that goes on Sony boot to a different one uh, console for the Nintendo Switch or Xbox or Steam. That's when you see a huge repercussion on Sony Entertainment in California. Um, we got uh, Sergio Rivera, uh, Sony Justice Warrior. I think I'm going to extend my uh, picture frame right here so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Uh, Sony Justice Warrior, yes, yes. Uh, let's see here. But other than that, it, it's good. Uh, that's Retro Think. Uh, I'm not going to read this, it has a lot of cursing in it. 
but I did re reply to you, but I think that's pretty much it for it. Um, there's some good comments in there, but there's a lot of curse words in it. If you down, put down the curse words a bit, I will literally will read it for you. Um, it's just that monetization and YouTube being whoop de doo about it, so I'm just basically had to tone it down, but I did reply to the majority of you guys uh, that put it in. Um, so yeah, that's basically my two cents on it. Uh, it's basically lewd or highly sexualized games. They have to put it across the whole board. Like it's a company. You cannot nitpick here and there or be lawsuit for discrimination against that type style company uh, against Japan and America as well. Majority of the Sony games um, that comes out are from Japan or you know, there's only very few first tile that comes from California and Europe. And you know, like, and then Tomb Raider came in um, in California. I think so did uh, God of War. But God of War used to be a very sexualized game until the last one came out. It wasn't that sexualized at all. Uh, Kratos is not banging every single uh, maiden in while you go fight. I'm gonna be playing the um, God of War one, two, and three. Uh, Big Pie because he has a son right next to him. So. <laughs> Your, your your lover died and you're gonna bang some other some other maiden for it <laughs> that, that, it's it Kratos but he has a son so he has to take the, uh, his dead lover's ashes up to the highest peak with his son so if you haven't played a game buy it play it it's awesome it's I wish they I wish they bring a new DLC for it but you know they put in a cliffhanger towards the end that would be another, I know that would be another uh, God of War for it uh, it's just one of those things uh, for a company or business a standpoint ideal as well so if you're gonna censor something you guys censor across the whole board uh, for that type of thing you know you just you just cannot nitpick and choose you know that's how you Basically, you're going to have a reputation later on down that you, you're not going to be trusted. You're going to treat us like second-class citizens, but it ended, it ended in that, but we made you a lot more money in that on the PlayStation as well. So let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you later. See you guys. Bye.